Hi, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, like uh, we have promised, uh, we're going to start our lesson. Uh, our first chapter is going to consist of showing you how to do the different uh, meringues. Uh, obviously we have, we got the, uh, the French meringue, the Italian meringue, the Swiss meringue. Uh, the first one we're going to do today is uh, the French meringue. And every time when we do a meringue, I'm going to show you, give you some, give you some, some ideas how to use them, how to incorporate them in your uh, uh, recipes. Like I said, today we're going to do uh, the French meringue, which is the, uh, the most basic one. And then uh, I'm going to show you how to use it. Probably today we'll be, we'll be looking uh, to do some uh, pavlovas, uh, eating mess. Uh, to start with, I got uh, here 200 grams of uh, egg white. When you come to do the meringue, ideally uh, your uh, egg white has to be on, uh, on the room temperature. Like I said, 200 uh, ml of egg white, 400 grams of custard sugar. I also got some uh, a piping bag and some different nozzles where we're going to use to do our uh, different uh, small motifs, rosettes, inserts. We're going to start by uh, whipping our uh, meringue. Okay, to start with, we're going to put our egg white in our mixing bowl. And we're going to try to put just a, just a tiny bit to start it off. Cast the sugar. Start it with just a small, small spoon. As soon as the, uh, you can see the foam started to build up, and now we're going to start adding the sugar. Slowly, on the side. As you see, you keep doing the same things until you use all your uh, sugar. Like you see, the meringue is ready now. When you see the meringue is having a nice peak like this, it means it's ready. Like you see, the meringue is uh, ready now. And I've got uh, my piping bag and a few nozzles. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, pipe some discs. We're going to use them for uh, the pavlova. I'm going to also do a big disc, probably I'm going to use it in the future as an inset uh, for uh, a slightly bigger uh, uh, dessert. And we're also going to do some pops which we can use for uh, garnishing uh, our plates later on. Let's start. With my meringues, I'm going to start cleaning up my piping bag. You don't have to overfill it, halfway is more than enough to start with. Make sure you get all of the air. And then we're going to come here, start piping some uh, discs. Like you see, I have already pre-marked my tray makes much, much, much easier when you come to pipe it. Now I'm going to put a star nozzle to the same piping bag. I'm going to come here and I'm going to start piping some pops. I'm also going to do some plain ones.
The piping has finished now. Uh, I have uh, preheated my oven uh, to uh, 100 degrees. You can put it between 100 degrees to 100, 110. It's going to take you between uh, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, more likely, you're going to get them small ones out uh, slightly earlier than the other ones, and then you might need to put your tray back to uh, to the oven. All the meringues are ready now. It took me about uh, roughly, uh, I would say, 50 minutes for the uh, for the big one. Uh, slightly uh, less for the for the small ones. I started it off with the uh, 100 uh, uh, degrees, and then I turned it up to around 80 to uh, to 90 degrees. Uh, I mean, for the meringues, you can always leave them over the night on the 75, 75 uh, degrees. Uh, but if you want them on the same day, you can uh, cook them off on, on, on slightly uh, higher. We're going to start uh, garnishing up uh, them to pavalogas. I mean, you got a, a lot of choices out with the way you're doing them. I'm just going to give it a go and show you the way usually uh, I would like to do them. I've got a small, a little bit of a compote that popped up earlier.
This is uh, my illustration for, my, for uh, Papa Loba. Uh, I, I gave you a choice of, of two uh, different uh, plates. I hope you, you're going to enjoy them. It was uh, our first uh, lesson from our first uh, chapter regarding uh, the French meringue. Uh, like I said, I mean, French meringue can be used in a different uh, manner, different ways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know by your comments. Keep us updated all the time. Keep, the, keep us uh, posted. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, channel. I uh, hope to see you next time with, for, with the next uh, lesson. Thank you.